they just tag together on the odd occasion, if you can call it that. And and Billy just knocked the referee onto the ropes, and now, uh, oh, we got the Lollis to do a baseball slide in the back of the robot, who had the intelligence to stand there and take it. A bit of inexperience shown by, uh, by the, uh, the giant fiend. And here's a cover again, all that weight and mass on Billy, and no, not a, co uh, not a victory yet, sadly for Billy, I think he should just stay down. Because every hit that the Cyrus robot is going to ignite here, is going to hurt. It hurts when you're almost as big as him, but when you're Billy's height, it's going to affect you big time. Wait a minute, look at that! A, a spine buster by Dude. Billy! who somehow felt a rush of adrenaline kick in and was able to pick up the Soros robot onto his shoulders and slam it back down again onto the outside trying to keep him at bay here no success though, Billy's suffering from a lack of stamina now too much running so the speed has cut out, wait a minute, whoa! now that was incredible, and ah, now you're finally getting into this that was just incredible, but I'm still not happy about this night, you realize uh oh, obliterator Good lord. Wow, that's game over now. The obliterator connects. Billy has been obliterated. Oh wait, the Cyrus over once more. Oh jeez. He's obviously been instructed to absolutely dismantle Billy. I bet that was Peach. Any, I bet you any money that was Peach. Well, the hardcore champion's done it in action tonight. I mean, he's probably watching this and actually liking it. Oh. And here's the cover, this should be it. One, two, and three. And we've got a predictable winner. And a great match. Oh, shut up. Here is your winner, the Cyrus Robot! Well, I'm glad the anti-heroes are happy about this. Putting on the greatest show ever. <laughs> Well, at least you can see about that. I can. They aren't going into the ASIF, because they don't have a charge of that. I do. And the fans do, more importantly. And the fans, I bet, do not want any of what's going to happen here tonight. If this is an example to follow on. Which it will be. So this is going to be brilliant, in my view. The dominating anti-heroes. Well, there won't be any anti-heroes here, but I guess that might be an even worse thing. But it is Cute Pink's debut match against Wario, who introduced you pretty much into the business, and now he's got a face there one on one. They have to fight, or they're going to be out of here. Oh well, life sucks, and then you die. The following contest is set for one fall, and if the participants do not fight, they will be fired. Introducing first, representing the freedom movement from Planet Bummer. Cute. Hey. And what's more, they don't believe that, uh, once again, bashing another male competitor to female, they think that's Bomberman right there, they think that is. So they, they've got this little cunning plan that they think that Bomberman's going to... Uh, uh, Bomberman's been forced to come out and help Cute Pink, which I believe he will, to shut these guys up. Because that, there, is not Bomberman, that is Cute Pink. Can't they tell the difference between a female and a male? No, it's just Bomb Man dressed up as a girl. He's put a couple of pillows in his in his shirt and stuff and put a skirt on and all that stuff. And and there you go. That's the alter ego of, of, of Bomb Man. Great. And her opponent, weighing 320 pounds, also representing the freedom movement, Wario! He might have even gone as far as uh, putting on the underwear. What? You're being ridiculous. You're being about as ridiculous as, as the anti-heroes now. Thank you. Is that good or bad? Because if this is ridiculous, then I'm loving it. Jeez. Why don't you go and sign up? They want members. No, because I'm on Raw, so they wouldn't accept me. i got to believe. They're smashed down, ruined through. Well, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure Wario and Cute Pink are going to be hesitant here in this one. <coughs> Excuse me. They're going to be very hesitant. They don't want to fight each other, but they got to. 
They gotta put out all the stops. And here we go. Wario versus Cute Pink in her debut match. And Wario is obviously backing off here. He's obviously said, you know, try and take it easy on each other, but Wario's gonna take most of the damage, I would suspect, to make it look like they're fighting. Shut up, they're fighting. Shush. Don't annoy the anti heroes. They're fighting, look, anti heroes. They're going bang. Wario just gave a soup slam and a headbutt. Now he's backing up a bit. Getting some room distance between them. Yeah. I'm doing good with play by play on this. Yeah, I've noticed. Why don't you take over? Because I'm I'm pretty much in protest throughout the whole night. You could do both. No, I think I'll stick to color. Yeah, I thought so. So come on and call the match. It is a match. They're fighting each other, look. So call it. You're definitely too pro anti hero, aren't you? What's wrong? I think this show is brilliant. It's not as good as Raw, like I said, but the anti heroes do make a good show. They haven't made a good show so far. And wait a minute, what's this? Ow! There's a bit of offense. A bit of evil offense, shall we say. They're pleasing the anti heroes, see? They want to kiss their butts too. It's not like they have a choice, really. I don't think they want to get fired. But then again, I wouldn't be surprised that I wouldn't be fired in this kind of environment. Then again, they don't want the anti-heroes to completely dominate the whole of the show. They want to strike back. And the only way to do that is to jump through hoops. And there's going to be a hell of a load of hoops to jump through, in my view, to come in the uh, coming episodes and for the rest of this night. Wait a minute, sleeper hold by Cute Pink. Uh, Warrior got out of it. Series of punches, but counted, and uh, Cute Pink delivers a one handed snap there. Irish whip. Into the ropes. Ducks underneath. There's a bit of a split legged action there from Cute Pink. Don't see Bomb Man. I don't think Bomb Man would be able to do that. Do you? No, I don't actually. That's, that's quite surprising. He's He's been doing some tricks. He's been learning some techniques to fight his cute pig. Very impressive. Oh, jeez. There's, there's a dominator by Wario who could go for the pin right there and no sign of Bomberman yet. And keep in mind he's going to interfere here and uh, cost Wario the match, which is uh, also his friends. But then again, so is cute pig. But I don't know. It's just a big tangled web. It's brilliant though. It's ingenious. Oh man. Wario got up close and personal where he likes to be between Bomberman's crotch. What? In that powerbomb position, you know. You're being extra weird tonight, you know? And Wario, Wario's actually getting a trash can out, but uh, I guess he's making it look like he wants... He knows there's disqualifications in his match, as the referee has just pointed out to him, probably. He's just trying to look positive. He doesn't want to be fired here. Don't blame him. But he doesn't want to do it. Yes, he does. You can see the anger in his eyes. He wants to fight Q-Pink. Yeah, where, where is the freedom movement spirit of competition? They want to fight each other. Just complete humiliation is what it is, Eggman. Well, whatever, Mr. AKI. We've even forgot our introductions, I think, so it's a good job we just pointed out each other's names. Well, that's because I'm so just depressed here. Wait a minute, cute pink to the top rope. Oh! And, and shall we call that a cute dive? You could call that a one, two, three. Because cute pink's one and there's no sign of Bomberman. Man. Hmm, I wonder why. Well, I don't know what's happened there. Here is your winner! Cute pink! No sign of Bomberman. Man. I wonder why. Is that him there? That's him there, I bet. Yeah, skip it around, dancing. I bet you any money just didn't want to come out purely because of the fact he didn't want to pick on either one of his friends. He only had to pick on Wario. Yeah, but that's like a tag team. And they're the stronger tag team than Grim and Billy, as we were you were talking about earlier. They don't like each other in, in their personal life. But they're still a tag team, but Wario and Bomberman are, are closest friends. They're like brothers almost. Even though they don't look exactly like brothers. But yeah, I, I, I'll kind of go with that, I guess. Well, I'll tell you someone that is closer than brothers, and that's Dimension X. And